So we're back on the small CNC mill today. To start things off, I'm just bolting down the base of the XY axis to the fabricated frame that it came on. It's actually got a couple pins on it to help align it to hopefully make sure that it's square to the column. I'm going to get those gibs snug, but not so snug that the axis won't move. It took a little trial and error. Now I'm just assembling the front half of the Y axis until I remembered that I didn't oil that bearing. Not really a whole lot to these things. Here's the probiotics kit that I got. I'm going to try to use the original mounts and just adapt those to fit uh, from the original motors to the, the new ones. And that pulley there was just a little snug. I believe uh, the probiotics kit was Imperial and the original Town Lab motor was metric. Or maybe it was the other way around. Anyway, I just barely had to drill that out to get that to fit. And here this mounting plate, if you saw it, I I wasn't thinking. I thought it I forgot that it stood off on those spacers. I thought it was a face mount. So I cut a recess in it for the face of that motor that I actually didn't need. So I cut this mounting bracket first and um, I, I cut the slots to the exact dimension of the diameter of those mounting bolts which just made it almost impossible to adjust because there was no room for it to wiggle and slide around. So when I did the other two axes I, I left myself some space there to make adjustment easier. running a stone across the bottom of the table <clears throat> and the top of the base before I put it all together get rid of any burrs or anything and the same thing on this axis get it just tight enough that there's no slop but the table still moves freely I do have a small problem here where that the back side of the belt actually rubs against those spacers just because it wasn't designed to use these motors and these pulleys. You can see the original slots there, the spacers were further apart. So if I end up keeping it and using it enough, I'll uh, I have to come up with a solution to that but for testing purposes, it shouldn't be a problem. can't help but think with this stack up of components here just one more place for the machine to flex and uh, add some inconsistencies or room for error on this axis the Z axis I did mount the motor a flush mount 
That's not how it originally was, but it just it made more sense up top here. And it wasn't in the way of any other part of the machine. So when I go through my settings, I have to make sure that I indicate that this one's backwards. So here it is, all bolted together, uh, less the motor. So next on the list is to, to get that motor mounted and wired, and also to get all the other components wired. But uh, that'll be for next time. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.